How's it going guys? In today's lesson we're going to be going over how we can create a Twitter bot in Python and we're just going to be tweeting a simple hello world with an image. So I'm going to teach you how you can get the API key and how you can get this up and running. Then later on in this channel we'll go ahead and create some more advanced features. But what's important is that we actually learn how to send our first tweet. So the very first thing we're going to go over is essentially how we can send any image with any text to our Twitter account. And at the moment I have this cat and this message over here. All I have to do is change this to cat. And as soon as I click on run, it's going to say successfully sent the message or tweeted successfully. And if I go to my Twitter account in Firefox, it's going to appear here as a new tweet. Exactly what I put inside the console over there and I'm going to delete this for now. So that's practically what we're going to be doing. And the first thing I'm going to be showing you is how you can get your API keys. So the very first thing we need to do is go to the developer.twitter account portal, where we can go ahead and sign up for our developer access. And first you need to supply your name, which country you're based in, and essentially what you're going to be using this API for. So for my example, I'm in Denmark and I'm just going to be using it to build some bots and it's that simple so then we just want to go ahead and say we're not using it for anything that's government associated click on next and then we're just going to accept the terms and conditions so that we can use the bot so go ahead and click on this small square over here and click on submit then it's going to ask you to verify your email which i've gone ahead and done and then you need to go ahead and specify an app name so inside here, I'm just going to go ahead and enter my channel name, which is a script candy bot. And it's going to give you the first keys. And I recommend you just copy down all the keys that you get. So first you're going to get these API keys and API key secrets. So go ahead and copy those and copy the bearer token into some place that you'll remember them. And then go ahead and try it out, skip to the dashboard because we still have a little bit more configuration to do. And if you go to keys and tokens, you can generate these at any moment in the entire process. So we don't really want to generate these just yet. We're going to go first to the product section and we want to apply for elevated access. So we have more features that we can use. So the setup is going to be very similar to the previous one, but you need to also specify your coding level and you need to give a reason why you want to use this. And I went ahead and said that I'm going to be teaching how to use this API, and that's going to be my entire reason. Try your best to not fill this out with any placeholder, because if they see that you are trying to cheat the system, they will block your account immediately. So make this as honest as possible when you are answering these questions, and just follow along, pick the features that you want, and you need to give a good reason for each feature that you do select to use. So I'm just going to be selecting the tweet and retweet feature and the rest I'm just going to select no for now. You can change this at any point in the future, but we're not going to be using it in this lesson. So go ahead and review your information and click on next as soon as you've confirmed all the features you want to use. Then you need to go ahead and accept the conditions once again. And as soon as you click on submit, the process should be very, very fast and it should tell you, congratulations, you now have elevated access. And at that point, we want to go back to our script candy bot and we need to go down and use an authentication setting. So just down here where it says setup, click on that. And the very first thing we want to do is pick the OAuth 1.0a. And here we want to activate the read and write and direct message permissions. But first we're going to go ahead and provide a callback URL. And this is what's going to happen when someone authenticates their app. They're going to be sent back to this URL. And I just want them to go back to Twitter. So I just entered twitter.com on both of them. And for the website URL, you might enter your own website. I'm just going to enter Twitter for this example and select the read and write permissions. Then we can go ahead and click on save and click on yes. And thanks to this small change, we can go back to our keys and token and regenerate the access tokens. And here, finally, we're going to have access tokens that allow us to tweet. So go ahead and copy all of the tokens available and then we'll go back to the project. And now that we have our API keys, I recommend putting them into a file in Python or somewhere safe. I'm just going to be using this as an example. I have my own folder called keys, but here's a keys example. So create something such as this because we need to authenticate all our tweets when we send them with these keys. 
So go ahead and create a file such as this one and then go back to your main.py folder. And from here, we're going to go ahead and open up the terminal and we're going to go ahead and install Tweepy, which is used for creating tweets in Python. And once you have that, you can close the terminal and import Tweepy. Then we want to go ahead and import our keys. Since mine is located in the other folder, I need to go ahead and type in from other import keys. Otherwise, if you have it in your main folder, you're probably just going to type in import keys. And here I have keys test, such as this over here, so that I can use those keys. Now, the very first thing I want to do personally is create an API authentication. So here we're going to create the authentication, which will equal handler. And inside here, we need to first insert the consumer key, which is the API key, and the consumer secret, which is the API secret key. And then we need to go ahead and call this authentication and set the access token. And the first one is going to be the regular access token. So access token. And then the second one is going to be the access token secret. And what we want to return is the tweepy.api with this authentication. Then I wanted to create a helper method to send a tweet. And this will allow you to send tweets with images or without images, that's up to you. But we're just going to call this tweet which is going to take an API of type tweepy.api and it will take a message of type string if there is one and we will also specify an image path which will be set initially to none. And what we want to do is check if there is an image path, we're going to use a different method. So api.update status with media. And here we can enter the message and the image path. But if we don't have that, we're just going to go ahead and call API update status and just pass in the message. And just to make sure everything went well, we're going to go ahead and print tweeted successfully. And that's going to be the only method we have in this program. And down here, we can go ahead and make our main check. And first we need to go ahead and create the API, which is the authentication itself, which will just be an API. And we're going to tweet with this API, the following message. This was tweeted from Python. And as the second parameter, you can specify an image path. And for me, it's just going to be the cat PNG. And I placed that inside my project over here. That's why it showed up. But you just need to find the correct path of the image you want to tweet. Now, if we actually go ahead and run this, it's going to say tweeted successfully. And if we go to Firefox, very shortly, it's going to say there are some new tweets one of which is my tweet that says this was tweeted from Python. So as the first video regarding Twitter bots, this is all I'm going to cover, just how to set up the API key. And it was a bit more complicated than I wish it was, but that's how it is. And I really hope this video helped in the near future. I'm really hoping to bring out some retweet bots and some tweet analysis. So definitely stay tuned for those kind of videos. But as always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.